We're out in one of my favorite places, but I gotta tell you what, it's usually my favorite because it's warm. 70, 80, 90 degrees bass fishing on Pelican. But today we've traveled out here, it's 14 degrees, it was five going over the pass, got a bit nippy. Uh, we're gonna go out and ice fish for some bluegill, some bass, and a few other species. It is gonna be a treat. Got my boy uh, Brooks with me. He is excited and ready to rock and roll. Booked on Utah is presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Rhino Linings of Utah, protecting home, work, and vehicle. Be seen and get results from the sign guys. Hell's Canyon Custom Rods featuring the exclusive Hooked on Utah series. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Orange Soda, the number one SEO. And Dick's Boat Shop of Clearfield, Utah's Skeeter Dealer. Woo. Beautiful day, nice and crisp. I wanted to drive out, but Kevin wouldn't let me. He got chicken. I figure two inches of ice will support the truck. Uh, he's just not quite that brave. What is our adventure today? Ice fishing. Man of many words. Tell him what lake we're at. I don't know. We're at Pelican. We're at Pelican. Were you excited about coming out? Yes. How many days did you ask me? Did you ask me every day when we were going ice fishing? Yes. When are we going ice fishing? When are we going ice fishing? It's like a broken record. But that's what makes it fun. Uh, if you can get us geared up on the things that we need for, for a successful trip, that would be great. Okay. The first thing you probably need is you're going to need a sled. For a start now, you probably just want to get jet sled. This little jet sled junior will work just fine for that. Okay. Then you're going to need a hand auger or a gas auger, but for starters, probably just get yourself a hand auger. Okay. So there's your an auger. That's an inexpensive auger. It's $39. I think I found 14, haven't you, Gary? That's what I found, so. Ooh, look at he's got a bite. Can't get him. Can't get him. Can't get him. Oh. Lost him. <laughs> you gotta set that hook. Now, does he know how to reel the. Yeah, okay. I have pull. The next thing you need is gonna be a rod and reel or a rod and reel combo. Fishing for bluegill, you're probably gonna want something in a light or an ultralight. Um, several different choices you can go with. Something with about that kind of bend in it, so it's going to be soft enough. You're not going to be setting the hook very deep, so this will work just fine, and you're still going to have some fun with those bluegill out of Pelican. And those little guys rip out there. We've got a spring bobber on because generally the bite is so sensitive that in the winter they don't hit it as hard as they do in the summer, and if this spring bobber weren't on, it's highly unlikely that that pole is going to bend like it would in the summer. So we've got a spring bobber on, as, as you can see, just a little, little pole like that and they're coming up sucking on it and that's when you want to set that hook. These are our worms. Um, we've got wax worms and millworms. The ones I like for bluegills is wax worms. As you can see, they're a little soft maggot. It's actually a moth larvae. Those work really well for bluegills and trout. And then the other type we carry is millworms. They're more of a segmented larva. They're a beetle larva. It's a beetle larva. Now these, these are actually really good. I like them. Um, and I didn't even have to pay for that one. It was pretty good. I like to be right off the bottom. I can always come up, go back down. I don't want to be lying on the bottom. But closer is better, I think. There's a fish over there. Look at that bad boy right there. 